your beautiful heart. Bless your beautiful heart wherever you may be. We ain't met yet, but I'm a willing to bet you're the gal for me. Oh, I'd swap my gun and I'd swap my view. For a new plow, two tubs of lard, a sack of coffee, 20 pounds of chewing tobacco. Oh, and uh, you wouldn't happen to have an extra wife in stock now, would you? I'm looking for one of them. Any special brand? Why, yes, actually. I'd like best a winter woman that ain't afraid to work. You see, there's seven of us, me and my six brothers. The place is a big sty, and the food's worse than that. So I made it my mind. Next time I go into town to trade, I'm bringing me back a wife. Well, that's a fine thing, I must say. Coming in here and thinking that you can just trade for a wife, like she's a bag of meal. Oh, no, ma'am. I, I wouldn't say that, ma'am. Well, let me tell you, Adam. None of our girls is going to go off with you to bear country to work her fingers to the bone for some ornery backwoodsmen. Besides, there's at least 10 men for every gal in these parts. If you want a wife, you're going to have to go back east and find one. Now, you mean to tell me that there's no unmarried females in this town? Good morning, Solomon. Oh, good morning, Sarah. We're having a quilt with me. Oh, Do you have any odds or ends? Oh, absolutely. What about these? <laughs> Just a minute. They married? They're spoken for. <laughs> <laughs> Just spoken for. You had me scared. I tell you, they're promised. Promise to hear? Well, a lady can change her mind now, can't she? Never set my mind to something yet, but what I didn't do. Whether it's plowing 20 acres in a day or dropping a tree within an inch of where I want. 
Now I'm here today to get me a wife, and I don't even go back home empty handed. Now y'all are pretty, and fresh and young, and I'll keep you in mind. But I ain't decided nothing till I look them all over. I think I better sample that cookie. <laughs> hey, Millie, I'd like to take some of that dessert now. Hey! That ain't no way to treat a lady. Put out of this, mister! Don't you tell me to butt out of this! Now you get up and get out! <laughs> I, uh, hope my interfering don't cause no trouble, ma'am. Trouble at all. I appreciate what you did. That's stew, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks good enough to eat, ma'am. Here, have some. I'm the best cook this out of the Rockies. Well, this stew don't even need no ketchup. Here, have some more. Let me know what to charge. Really? Pretty and trim, but not too slim. Heavenly eyes and just the right size. Simple and sweet and sassy as can be. Let your beautiful hide repair to bend your knee. And take that bow, cause I'm a telling you now you're the girl for me. My name's Adam Pontipe. Is it? It's an odd name, I must say, Mr. Pontipe. You can call me Adam. Adam. Well, your pa sure works you hard. Oh, Mr. Sanders? Oh, he isn't my father. Both my parents passed back out on the trail. We got a late start and got caught in the winter storms. I moved into town some months back. All alone? I can take care of myself. Well, I can see that. 
Now, Mindy, why don't you set a minute? Um, I gotta do this first. Now you listen to me. Sit. I got a fall. A good fall. There's a house on it. There's timberland and high grazing meadows as far as the eye can see. There's sheep and milk cows and 50 acres a week. Only thing it ain't got, well, it ain't got it one. So how about it? How about what? <laughs> How's about marrying me, Millie? Millie, did you hear me? Well, sure I did. I don't know anything about you, how you live in things. I know it's short notice. <laughs> it would have been fitting to meet you know, on a Sunday leaving church. <laughs> Six months later, I'd have asked. <laughs> Could have walked you home. Then for the next two or three years, I'd have sat in your front parlor every Wednesday night. And well, finally, I'd have asked if Paul could have married. At least that's the way my mom would have wanted me to do it. Well, you see, here there ain't time. But I got to be back tonight to tend to my stock. It'll be another five months before I get down here again after the harvest. Are you really going to keep a fella waiting all that time just for a little lease and folder? Well, I'd have to finish my chores first. Yeehaw! I knew the minute I laid eyes on you, you was a gear for me. Um, Adam. Um, how far is it up to the farm? About 12 miles. Oh, most people think that'd be pretty lonely, but I could stand some loneliness after this restaurant. Yeah. Always when I hear those rowdy men yelling for their dinner. I think how wonderful it would be just to have one man to cook and care for. Yeah. Uh, my wagon's down in the grove. I'll go get us a preacher, get me a ring, I'll get me a nice shaving bun. I'll see you in about ten minutes. Um, Adam! No, you're not changing your mind now, are you? No. Well, good. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Mel, are you thinking about spending time alone with Adam Pontesy? Well, I guess you could say that, Ruth. Sort of. He's so handsome. Well, do you like him, Millie? Oh, I guess so. We're getting married. <gasps> married? <laughs> I didn't even know you were being courted. Oh, I wasn't. I just got three years worth in five minutes. Oh, <laughs> Millie, Brayden! I don't believe what you're doing. Well, aren't you the one that's always been telling me to get myself married? To one of our town's boys, Millie. Not to a scruffy mountain man. Well, you know I tried. Every time I thought about saying yes to one of them, an awful sinking feeling would strike me. And I just couldn't do it. But when I said yes to Adam, I waited for that feeling, but it didn't come. And I feel just fine. Really? That's so romantic. I can't believe it. Somebody pinched me. <laughs> Ouch! Alice, honey, that's just an expression. Well, I've got to hurry and I've got to pack. Oh, we'll finish this, Millie, and I'll do the packing. We'll never see our million again. Oh, never? Ever. Never? Ever. Never. Don't worry, girls. She'll be back before the first snow. Oh, and don't While Adam and Luke's. Luke talks lives in the Bible. They're all my parents left me. Millie, there's something you should know about Adam and his family. I know all I need to know. There's real goodness in his eyes, just like my pa. And I always dreamed a man like that would come and take me away. Oh. Millie, I'm worried about you and your dreaming, though. One day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be married. Married for life. Couldn't have married long ago. I said no when fellas came proposing. Bankers, teachers, preachers too were among the men I could have chosen.
Oh, uh, this here is my brother Caleb. Caleb, this is my wife Millie. Brother? How are you, brother Caleb? <laughs> Your wife? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> hey, yeah, Dan, he got married. Whoa. <laughs> uh, and these are my brothers, Ephraim and Daniel. How are you, Brother Ephraim, Brother Daniel? Which one of you is Ephraim and which is Daniel? Me. <laughs> oh, and uh, this here's my Brother Benjamin. How do you do, Brother Benjamin? Fine. You didn't tell me you had brothers. Yeah, well, I guess it was the way to do it out of my head. Why don't we go into the house? Oh, um, do you all live around here? <laughs> Not round. Here. Oh. All right, I really think we should go into the house now. <laughs> I guess it could use some ready enough. <laughs> but now the chore here. Hey, wake oh. up there, meet your sister in law. <clears throat> what are you doing? <gasps> Holy Moses, what's that smell? I got a bat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Frank, this here's Millie, and Millie, this here's Frank. Do you do Frank? Hey, Adam, I was woo. Oh, and this here's Gideon. How do you do, Brother Gideon? Gideon, why don't you throw down that spoon? We're going to have some real cooking for a change. Ma'am? Are there any more? Nope. Gideon's the last one. You'll have to give me some time to put the right name with the right brother. Well, it's simple. Just remember your ABCs. Adam. Benjamin, Caleb, Daniel, Ephraim, Frank, and Gideon. Oh. Well, they're all real fine sounding names. Bible names? Yeah, that was Ma's idea. The ABC's, well, that was Paul's. <laughs> <laughs> 
Circuit, keep track of us. He planned on using all 26 letters of the alphabet right down to Zachariah. But then he got one look at Gideon here, went out and shot the tree down on him. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's one name in the Bible I don't remember. Frank? <laughs> well, that ain't his real name, is it, Frank? <laughs> We just call them that for short. <laughs> if there weren't no S names in the Bible, <laughs> so Ma called him Frankincense. Because yeah. he smells so sweet. That's right. Like, Go! Oh, fight! Fight! Get your son off of him, boy! Oh, you'll get your son off of him. Yeah. Yeah. Frank's kind of touchy. Uh, what the? Now, uh, up there is our bedroom. And uh, if you can follow me this way. Um, <laughs> This is where the boys are. And uh, if you'll just follow me. Right. Oh, uh, this is the wash basket. Me and the boys are kind of rough in our clothes, so there's a lot of washing them in, but uh. But now that I'm here? Oh, um. Uh, that is the kitchen, the flour, the milk, the salt pork, and just about everything you'll be needing to fix. Alright! Hey, that's enough of y'all! Get! I just supposed to get something with you on the foot, huh? Go on, get! You too, Getty. What are you boys sitting around here for? I gave you stuff to do and to go. <laughs> I don't need your sass, Ephraim. Now get out of here and get to work. And shut the door after you. <laughs> well, I'll back some wood pile and the water pump alongside it and uh. That there's the dinner bell, so you ring it good and loud when you got supper ready. Oh, will you be sure the dinner? Will I be doing that too? Oh, no. You leave that to us. <laughs> it's wonderful having you here, Millie. Just wonderful. Millie? Thing you should know about Adam and his family. We're worried about you and your dreaming, Millie. <laughs> Enough to make you bitter, but I've never been a quitter, and I'm not nearly done. I married seven brothers, married seven brothers, only one ten. When you wake up, you're gonna be married, and marrying's for life.
Good job, Caleb. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Benjamin, you boys get all your chores done. Yep. We got all our chores done, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's 10 o'clock, an hour past your bedtime. <laughs> uh, yours too, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, come to think of it, I am a mite sleepy. Very funny, Caleb. <laughs> it's me, Adam, your husband. Come in, Adam. Good night, boys. Good night, Adam. I uh, thought you'd be in bed. I expected you'd think that. <laughs> well, you must be tuckered out. It's been a right busy day. I'd say so. Shall I turn down the covers? Can if you'd like, but I'm not going to bed. Oh, Adam, you didn't want a wife. You wanted a cook, a washwoman, a hired girl. Well, a hired girl's got a right to a sleeping place of her own. Now, Millie, I didn't mean to- To trick me? Now, Millie, before you know it, the boys will be off living and marrying on their own. If I'd have told you beforehand, you might not have married me. And I wanted you to marry me, Millie. I wanted it real bad. Sure you did. Because you knew I was young and strong and there was still a lot of work left in me. Well, I suppose that's partly true. It's a rough life up here, Millie. There's trees waiting to be felled, land to be plowed and fenced, stock to be fed. A man needs a wife that can work alongside him. I'll work alongside you, but I won't sleep alongside you. Millie. So good night, Mr. Pontypee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm just giving her time to get out of her duds, is all. She's a little nervous. Yeah, she's a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> for the night. I don't know what cat's seeing. Good night, ma'am. Adam? Yes, Millie? Do you want a blanket? No, thanks. <coughs> Millie? Yes, Adam? No need to sleep in that chair. You can use the bed. Yes, of course. Adam? Uh-huh. I need to know something. I don't want what happened today to happen again. I want to trust you. Can I trust you, Adam? You can, Millie. Did you really want to marry me? Well, sure I did. I already told you. Real bad. You're a right spunky gal, Millie. I like that. Besides, what fool wouldn't want to marry a woman? I figure that a man's not supposed to notice. With hair that shines better than a thoroughbred after a good brushing. Yes, I was pretty mad at him. Built up such a store of dreams. But I know how it is with your brothers. All things considered, I wouldn't want you to lose faith. All things considered, maybe you'd better come back here. Oh, 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 oh. Daddy, did you Please. What? Our underwear? 
Yes, your underwear that you're sleeping in. Hey, where's Adam? We want to talk to Adam. He's out in the field. He had his breakfast more than a half an hour ago. What? Okay, well, I want to talk to Adam. Okay, well, there'll be plenty of time after breakfast. Edward, did you just hear that tone she gave me? Oh, uh, no, please. Well, I got hot muffins waiting. Wait, what? Oh. Crisp bacon. Oh. Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Steaks. Fried potatoes. My oh. My. Fresh ground coffee. Coffee? Oh, I love coffee! Shut up! Freaking sense. Well, do I get that winter underwear or do I have to come in and take it off of you? Whoa! Hey, don't lose um, what? what? She went dead. Oh, what a die. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Every last one of you. How come I've never seen any of you at the dances? Don't you like girls? We ain't hardly ever seen one. I don't understand. Well, we used to go down to town and get to drinking with the townsfolk. But then somehow the place got all busted up. Hey, 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 shit! I will use this. Hey, so they ain't let us do much no more. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, Lord. Oh, she's Jewish. We thank thee for thy loving gifts and for thy bounty. Amen. 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 Hey, what is that? Oh. oh. Gideon, would you care for a flapjack? <laughs> I would indeed. Th th thank you. I have one I already bit off of this one. Is it good, Millie? Oh, <laughs> tastes real fine. Yeah. Oh, my Millie! Fun. Millie, I'm real glad you're the lady I'm choosing. Yeah. Thank you, Gideon. Do you ever think about being with a girl of your own? Well, I've thought about this. Gideon! No. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. The rest of you must have thought about girls, too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think about girls all the time. All the time! Another way of talking about it. Just find something else to talk about then. Oh, but Millie, uh, me and my brothers don't really know how to act around girls. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. That's okay, I'll show you. I'm the girl, and you meet me coming out of church. Right. So you raise your hat. What? Okay. You raise your hat. Oh. oh. Daniel, what's the matter? My hair ain't cold. <laughs> well, now you gotta say something nice. Go on, Gideon, say something. Would you care for some chaw and tobacco? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, girls, yeah, don't yeah, chew yeah. tobacco, Gideon. Try again. What? Nice night for a coon hunt. Yeah. Yeah. There's still time to learn. We've got a whole month until the next social. But you got to remember, they'll have competition. Every one of those girls has got five, ten fellas buzzing all around her. We'll clear them out first thing. Yeah, the whole lot of them. Well, that's exactly what you must have do. You want to show those girls you know some etiquette. As a what? Etiquette, Gideon. When you meet a girl, don't grab at her like she was a flapjack. That's good, though. Offer her your arm. Go on. Gideon's nice. good at this. Yeah. yeah. There. Well, then you ask her for a stroll, and you tell her how pretty she is. 
and you call her my dear, my darling, my precious, my pet. Wait, oh, like a dog? <laughs> going courting, going courting. <laughs> oh, it's said moments is in a world. Going courting, <laughs> going courting. Do you love to go and see a girl? Oh, it's fun to hunt and shoot a gun. Yeah. Or to catch a rabbit on the road. Yeah. But you'll find it's twice as sporting. Going courting. Uh, like this movie? Okay. okay. Gotta wait for her, Caleb. Now there's lots of things you gotta know Be sure the parlor light is low what the hell? You sidle up and squeeze her hand Ooh. Let me tell you, tell us how this grand You hem and haw a little while She gives you kind of half a smile You kind of up, she moves oh. away oh. Then the strategy comes into play. Well, don't you want to learn? No. <laughs> Frankincense. <laughs> I'm smelling something sweet. Really sweet. Mm, I like that. <laughs> Go in.
Well, our boys are dressed oh. like townsfolk. Isn't it nice? Now remember, boys, mind your manners and don't let anyone rile you. Yes, ma'am. Well, if we're going to a social, let's get going. Yeah! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go. Strangers mean trouble. Double trouble. Well, where'd they come from? Heaven. <laughs> Mine's are good looking. And all the tallest church steeples. <laughs> Alice, which one do you like? The handsome one. Oh. <laughs> Billy! 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 Excuse me, Adam, I'd like you to meet Zeke and Jeff, and this is Nathan. It was his family that took me in when I first arrived in town off the trail. Matt and Luke, and this is Joel. This is my husband, Adam Pontepe. Nice to meet you. Wait a second. You know Adam Pontepe. He's the one who threw Nathan through his single pane window. Oh! oh, oh I I This pie. <laughs> oh, I'd be pleased. <laughs> Where would you like me to place this one? Um, Frank, this is Sarah. Sarah, this is Frank. Ma'am. Here. Would you follow me? Oh, I'd love to, ma'am. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, the boy is sweet. Huh? Oh, my Millie. It's nice to see you looking so handsome. I mean, good. Oh. Thank you, Ruth. Um, Caleb, if you'll just follow Ruth. To the ends of the earth. <laughs> oh, uh, Daniel, Ephraim, I'd like you to meet Martha and Liza. Oh, um, excuse me, Daniel and Ephraim, Liza and, Liza and Martha. <laughs> Please. Pleased to meet you. Pleased. <sighs> To meet you. They're pleased too. After, After you, ladies. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. That's all we got, boy. Oh, Alice, honey, I'm sorry, but that's all. Can I show you to the table, anyways? You know, you're the prettiest girl I ever acquainted. <laughs> Can I show you to the table, ma'am? You know, it wouldn't hurt you to learn some manners, too. Ah, what do I need manners for? All right, it got me a while. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get to the dance. Woo! <laughs>
Before we get back to dance, I'd like to remind all of you people. Everybody seems to be having a real good time. Seems so. Now I know it won't be long before they're all married and living around and traveling back and forth at birthdays and Christmas with the castle full of babies. Whoa, now, Millie. You're moving a bit too fast for us ponies. You have us grandparents before you know it. Well, what's wrong with that? You gotta start sometime. Why, Millie Ponipi! Let's get back to dancing! Up knuck on a loose tooth. So why do you have any teeth left at all? I'm sorry, Millie. Honest, but those folks jumped at him. No, you all did your best. Millie? I feel kind of strange. Like, like I eat and accept I ain't hungry. If what I think I was a Gideon, no doctor's gonna help any. Alice is sweet, isn't she? Well, who knew that could be such fun? <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. You feeling puny? You're looking kind of peaking. I ain't sick, I'm. Um. It's got a shaky feeling in my stomach, that's all. Yeah. I always get that way after a good fight. This ain't about fighting. It's another kind of feeling. Really reckons it's about Alice. Now don't tell me Gideon's starting to get ideas about women. Not women. Just one. Look at you. Like a lost little calf. I don't mean to laugh or tease you. Where's your sin? I know that love's not a game 
Alice isn't just any girl. And heart every girl's the same. Every girl's the same. Not her. why they should grieve for them girls. They hardly saw them more than once. Well, if Benjamin goes, then another will go, and, and another. All right, I'll talk to him. Well, if you could just see yourself. You all been looking like a bunch of lovesick bull calves for more than a month now. Galico on the brain. Why don't you just go do yourselves a favor and go marry them girls? Them folks won't even let us in the town. Adam, how can we marry them if we can't even court them? Well, who says you have to court them? Your wife says you do. <laughs> Come on now. 
Millie, did I have to court her? Just go marry her. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Adam, those girls wouldn't let us marry them in a thousand years. A thousand years, huh? Well, why don't you do like them Romans did with them sobbing women? Sabine women or whatever they called them. I've been reading about it in one of Millie's books. Now, you see, these Romans, they was in the same fix as you was in. They was up in open new territory, and, well, women were scarce. Now, there was these sobbing women down in the town. And, well, what do those old Romans do? Well, they up and carried them up. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Of course, this being Oregon, God-fearing territory, you'd have to carry off a parcel along with them. <laughs> Say, um, Adam, them Romans, they the ones that settled up north of here? <laughs> oh, no. No. Frank, those are the Mormons. <laughs> this is old times. This is history. I'll tell you about them sobbing women. Was riding by and saw them in their meal, oh my soul. All back home to dry, at least that's what Plutarch said. Oh, yes, them women were sobbing, sobbing, sobbing fits of the time. Every muscle was throbbing, throbbing from that riotous ride. Oh, they cried and kissed and kissed and cried all over that Roman countryside. So don't forget, brother, when you're taking a bride. Sobbing fit to be tied from that riotous ride. And then what happened? Well, I'll tell you. They never did return their plunder. The victory gets saw. They carried them home by thunder from Rotunda Small, but cute. They've never seen, so they tell me, such downright domesticity. A woman, baby, on each knee, named Claudius and Bruce. Oh, yes! Them women were sobbing, 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 passing their nights. While the Romans was going out, I'm now the start to fight. They kept occupied by sewing lots. The gold told us more than tops and tears. Yeah, someday, women will go out right. Yeah, right. Passing all the nights. Just so. While the Romans had fights. Hey, listen to this. Now when the men folk went to fetch them, their women would not be fed. Because it's true, a lesson to the likes of you. Yeah. Oh, or else they'll think you're tech. Adam, what would Millie say? Well, surprise! Oh, oh yes, them women were sobbing, 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 buckets of tears. On the cannibal, dobbing, dobbing, really rattled their ears. Oh, they acted angry at a door. But secretly, they were so overjoyed. Oh, that would corral it. Women were sobbing, 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 weeping the tongue. Just remember what the robin, 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 what what I've done. They were sobbing women. Just like them, they're merry men. Don't break them all, baby, once again. Though they'll be a sobbing for a while. We're gonna make them sobbing. Frank, 
These are women. <laughs> yes, yeah, Frank. Frankincense. Frank. There are some people. Frankincense. No respect. All right. Keep blow. You're not a set. Or else you get a raffle up your nose. You hear? I got it. Yeah. Well, what do you do? Don't get your girls back. Yeah! Oh, oh come on, sir. Be a sport. Just one little kiss. Well, Zeke. Maybe just a little one, but you gotta close your eyes first. <laughs> Why, Zeke? Frank! Frank! Ah! Frank! Ah! Get out! Ah, Frank! What are you doing? Oh, Dorcas, dear, do read to me. What would you like to hear? Oh, whatever you'd like. It really doesn't matter to you. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest. Then all of a sudden, the big bad wolf appeared. He wanted to carry her off into the forest, yeah. but what? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Alice, Miss Alice, if you want to come back to my cabin, you know. Get you! Put your little cabin and come on! I swear I can't take you anywhere. Alice? 
Alice. 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 Uh, uh, Alice, if you don't mind me asking, are you afraid of mice? Oh, yes. They have scared me to death. Good! <laughs> this time, for an instant part of me. Now, Millie, before you go saying something, you're gonna be- I ain't begun to say what's on my mind. You've said enough. Adam, how could you have done this without talking to me first? Dad, blimey! 
You come in here bossing my brothers around. Tell them how to dress, how to eat, how to talk, and how to think. Make sissies out of all of them. Pretty soon they won't be able to go to the outhouse without you showing them how. I've only been showing them how things are done, Adam. What's the matter with them? Sit. Besides, they don't seem to mind. Yeah? Well, anybody can teach a dog to sit. But that don't mean it's that dog's nature. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm head of this household. And me and the boys will stand in the house where we belong. No, Adam. No? No! Adam! Millie's right. We want to be proper. Come on. We'll stay in the barn. You leave things be. Adam, calm down. You leave things be, huh? Yeah. Well, isn't this just a fine house, dude? Fine. If that's what you want, that's what you can have. But me, I'm getting out of here. Adam! I'm not taking it! <laughs> Done talking, Kayla. I'm leaving. Adam, listen to your brothers. The last time I listened to my brothers, I ended up getting married. I'd have been better off with a hired man. Grandpapa, come trees and plant and crops I can't forget. His soil and sweat. See my mama. It's one of those tough young men who plays the trails, the gales of fallen snow, and never lets go. He was fond of his seven sons, he taught us how to ride and hunt and fight. He made it so damn tough, and he was right. And where were you when our barn burned to the ground? Where were when Caleb nearly drowned And where were you The day that Mama died The boys had to grow up fast When Mama passed They had to face the bitter world alone My pa worked himself to death For Gideon could even walk And I never once heard Mama cross him You hear that, Millie? I was too busy seeing that the boys had froze. So no one froze. Thought of all the poor me. Risking lives on the Surrey trails, but they pushed on. To Oregon, so determined to take this country. Families were dying every day, but they'd work and pray. souls what to do. One problem to you, Billy. One problem to you. And where were you when blood was being spilled? Where were you when towns were being built? It takes a man who has a lion's heart. So I'm not going to let you in and let you win by tearing us apart. It's a man of iron to shape this land. It's a man who stood just where I stand. The women stood behind him night and day. They knew how to love, honor, and obey. Been this way since time began. So stand behind your man.
Hi, Martha. Okay. Ah. Who's that? She slapped me. <laughs> ha ha ha. I can, I can help you with that one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Ow! I wouldn't give her two minutes alone with Ruth. Uh, no telling when I'm gonna see Martha again. Dorcas. Alice. Let me out, let me out, let me get near her. Gotta shout, gotta shout, gotta get free. Didn't make plans to sleep with you, cuddle up by your ear. Wanted to smell perfume and not smell beer. But we gotta make it through the winter, or we won't get love in the spring. We gotta make it through the winter. Ben, my Martha's in the top, soaping her stuff down. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how Alice dance? Never seen such a curse. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. You're getting on our nerves. With our women in the house Oh, we've got to make it through the winter Or we won't get love in the spring We've got to make it through the winter Billy says we won't get a dog on me I beg for more when we begin to pet Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it You got us in a sweat Yes, we've got to make it through the winter Or we won't get love in the spring We've got to make it through the winter Millie says we won't Millie says we won't Millie says
Uh, Miss Ruth. Oh, come on, Benjamin. Miss Alice. I made this hat for you. <laughs> My thing is yours. <laughs> no. Sarah. that rich for more in a month. Well, well, suppose he was to get sick or uh, break a leg. Millie, wolves are real bad this time of year. Wolves would be good company for him. I could go to the cabin, ask him to come back. Getting your chores are waiting. sorted out between us first. I'm thinking about going back east, back home. By yourself? With a baby? Don't worry, Millie. Things could be a lot worse. We could all be having babies. Ooh. Ew! No. <laughs> you girls will be back in town with your families. And those dreary towns, boys. You really like it here? Yeah. There's plenty of reasons to like it here. Six of them. Say you really like the boys. Yes. 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 <laughs>
Adem. Gideyim. Gideyim! What's the matter? Got tired of sleeping out in the barn? Oh, I'm doing fine, Adam. Yeah? How your brothers do? They're doing real fine, too. Lots happened since... since you left. Oh. Yeah, Molly finally let us court the girls, so... everything's been real good with us. <laughs> Is that why you come all the way up here? Actually, I, I come to get you. Take you back with me. It's spring at the farm. Yeah. Well, it ain't up here yet. Adam? Millie's had a baby. Came the day before yesterday. I don't believe it. It's just as true as my being here. I don't believe it. It's just another one of her tricks to get me back. Yeah? Well, I ain't going. Not even to see the baby. Your own kid, Adam. Your little girl. A little girl? I might have known she'd have a little girl. <laughs> She's the spitting image of you, Adam. Yeah? Well, you don't know any more about babies than you do Millie. You know what I do know? I do know that she's gone and changed all of you. She hasn't changed us, Adam. We was wrong. You think if she do something to, to trick you? I really ain't that kind. She's a proud and spunky lady, Adam. But she ain't gonna bring herself to ask you back. Yeah. Well, she will be wasting her breath anyway. Because I'm going back, Gideon. Millie misses you, Adam. Adam? What? You being my eldest brother? I've always looked up to you. I haven't tried to be like you, but today? I feel so ashamed of you. Now, I know you can lick me. Lick the tar out of me, but I want to hold myself to no kind of man if I had show you how I felt. Are you done now? Yes, sir. All right. Tell him I'll be back when the pass is open. I'll stay with you until the shooting's over. Now get Gideon. Go. Stubborn and unbending, is she really depending on me? Can it be? Is my brother right?
interacting with class is over. Class? Going inside, girls. Boys, go get the wagon hitched up. The wagon? That's right. And put in plenty of straw and blankets, too. I'm taking the girls back to town. What? You can't be serious. I said I'm taking the girls back to town. Now go get the wagon hitched up. Adam, that'll be dangerous for the boys. She sure is a pretty little thing. Ain't she a might smell? She's the right size, Adam. What's your name? Hannah. Picking up where your mother left off. Hannah. It's not written down yet. Uh, we could change it. It's a good name. God's thinking up there in the mountains about our little girl. But I do. If someone came sneaking in and carried her off, why well, I'd kill the son of God. I'd string him up next tree. I'd shoot him down like a wood. I got to thinking about you up there, too. Did you, Adam? It seems I couldn't get you off of my mind. And? Dang, woman. <laughs> you should have been talked with. You never been much for apologies. <coughs> I'm sorry, Millie. You hear me? I'm no. sorry. And I'm happy the baby's a filly. Why? I can see that she makes you very happy. Well, I'm sorry too. You are? I'm sorry I married a pig-headed, stubborn, ornery, sweet-talking, household. And I say I'm taking the girls back. I reckon you're gonna have to show me. Me too. Don't you see? That taking them back is the only way you're gonna keep them. We'll have the whole townsfolk coming down on Let them come. We'll fight them all. Yeah. Sure. And who will you be fighting then, Benjamin? Huh? They're kinfolk. That's who. Someone's bound to get hurt. A father. Maybe a brother, even. And do you think 
those girls are going to want to marry you after that. Adam's right. Yeah. I stand with Adam. Yeah. Well, don't stand too close. Adam, the girls have run away. What? what? They don't want to go back to town. They want to stay here with the boys. Yes! Yeah! 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 Don't get them. Bring them back. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was your 
muddy boots I'm locked in a cabin of fruit I'll have to make a million strips of bacon And what about the eggs? I'll have to fry All my faith in marriage has been shaken I'll be cooking pork and beans Turning flapjacks Making bread, making pie I'll be cooking muffins Turkey stuffing Like hogs, then you can eat like hogs. Oh, wow.